Hey, y'all. Happy Crafty Tuesday. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm already a hot mess. But hey, I'm late. But I'm just happy to be here with y'all. Hey, D. Smith. Hey, Nicole. Uh-oh, I don't know what's going on with my... I don't even know if I'm on Facebook Live right now. Let me check and see. I shouldn't be, but... Looks like I might be. But hey, everybody, welcome in. We're going to be doing a little bit of bling tonight. Hey, Tamika. Hey, Hilda. We're going to be doing a little bit of bling. I have a hoodie that I need to make. Um, well, I have two hoodies, but we're just going to do one hoodie tonight. And I just want to hang out with y'all for a little bit and catch up with y'all for a second. I thought I had gotten off of Facebook Live, but it looks like I'm still on Facebook Live. So, hey, Facebookers. Happy Tuesday. So, let's see who all is here. I really thought that I was going to be off of Facebook Live. I made calls out of that one. Don't know. Hey, Kelly Trish. Welcome in. So, what are you guys working on? If you are new, welcome. Thank you for being here. I'm Patrice, and this is Craftable Things, and we do a lot of crafting all over the place, and we just do a lot of embroidery, vinyl, sublimation, DTF, uh, laser, whatever we can get these crafty hands into, that's what we're going to do. But if this is your first time, we're going to be doing, we're going to make a bling hoodie using hot big rhinestones. A link to everything that I'm going to be using tonight is listed below in the description. Also, just so you know, this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, this is a live and I will be interacting with everyone in the chat tonight. Um, I don't anticipate that this will be a long live and Sheila, don't come for me later on. But I don't anticipate that this will be a long live, but yeah. So if you're looking for a condensed tutorial, please check out the videos on my channel. I do have other videos. Also, Marilyn has tons of videos for bling. Eve has tons of vid videos. The Baby's Booty, Making with Marilyn, uh, The Best Uni, Crafting with Delanda, Coretta Dangerfield. All of these are YouTube channels that uh, feature a lot of bling. Well, Junior Junior features some bling. And Angel Bee Designs. Don't forget Angel. Angel Bee Designs has a lot of bling stuff. But this one, I'm just going to be chilling out, talking to y'all, catching up. I took last week off and almost took this week off until I talked to Delanda. And so I am here with y'all to hang out because I have missed y'all. So let's see who else is here. I'm using the Caesar, this is the Caesar Romeo to cut out my flock. Um, it's still cutting. Honestly, I don't think I have enough flock in there. I'm not using a mat, and I didn't measure the the flock. <laughs> okay, so I measured it at first, and then I had a little hiccup with the first cut, and so I flipped the image uh, vertically. And I didn't cut out a new, I didn't resize it to see what size I needed. So that was not the smartest thing, but we're going to see. Hopefully it will work out um, just fine, but we're using the Caesar Romeo to cut our design out. That's it. So what are y'all up to? Like we, we don't have anything really major going on. What are you guys up to? But hey, Tiff Designs. Hey, Latasha Love. Hey. Hey, AJ. Hey, Wanda. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Sim1. Hey, Deborah. Welcome in, everybody. And for all my members, thank you for being here. And thank you for being patient with me while I took a little bit of much needed time away. Thank you. Because I needed it. And so the other week, last week, um, I think that was last week on. Maryland slide I did a design it said matching audacity 
and I was going to put it in the what shop is that? I'm gonna, I was going to put it on the website, but I didn't get a chance to put it on there yet. I am done with it, so I'll try to put it on sometime this week uh, in case you guys wanted it. I had a few people who asked me about it, so it will be on there soon. But hey, everybody. Hey, Lucille. Hey, Carol. Hey, Tionda. I'm happy to see you guys, too. Hey, Miss Marissa. Hey, Natalie. <laughs> hey, Sheila Cushionberry. <laughs> I'm always late-ish. You know that. You know that. Hey, Deborah. Oh, thank you, Tionda. Y'all, so I started back. Well, last week, so I took last week off because I was just a little overwhelmed with the start of school. And then like, oh, like I had a ton of orders that I had to get out. And so last week we had pre-planning or planning week. And so that kind of took up a lot of my mental capacity. And then this week, the students came yesterday and I was so exhausted yesterday. I'm a little tired today. I don't know if you guys could tell. I feel like I'm like sluggish or dragging, but I'm here for a little bling therapy with y'all and I really, really need it. So we are going to bling, but we started school and I'm excited. I always love when school uh, starts back. So got to see my kids, they're doing well. Hey, Borgie Town. Hey, Nuan. And so I'm happy. Hey, Juana. <laughs> I had a very relaxing birthday, y'all. I did absolutely nothing um, for my birthday. I didn't do much of anything because that's what I wanted. And I had a great time doing nothing. I really, really did. Um, it's not often that I do nothing. And so my birthday, um, I kind of like to do something that I want to do. And that's what I wanted to do. And I enjoyed it. I stayed in bed for a long time. I think I got out of bed like close to the afternoon. Maybe, I think about two or three o'clock I got up, got up and yeah. So I'm thankful. Thank you guys for all of the birthday wishes. Um, especially like when we were on Delonda, Katrina. A lot of y'all were giving me birthday shout outs, Rachel, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, that made my heart full. So thank you. Hey, Chris. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Barb LaFond. Hey, LaShunda. <laughs> Y'all know I'm behind, right? For the usual. Hey, Up Designs. Patrick is on. So I saw somebody post that they have purchased the Romeo on HSN. Y'all, I actually love the Caesar. Uh, Romeo. I'm cutting flock right now without a mat. The only thing is, is that, oh, I think, I think my guest is ready. Y'all know I could not do this by myself. Not tonight. Like I'm, I, I'm a little hot mess. I'm one little hot mess tonight. Crafty little mess. That's what I am. And so I had to call in somebody who would help me out in this situation. And she's backstage. So let me call her. Let me bring her up. Hey. Hey. I got your back. I, I got know. Your back. I know you do. I know you do. I'm not worried about it. I'm How, not you, How you doing? I'm all right, Mayor Bear. I'm here. I'm thankful to be here. Thankful to have this opportunity to do a little blink therapy with one of my blink bestesses. And yeah, I'm going to relax and brush in some stones. Hopefully this template has cut out because girl, if this template did not cut out correctly, I am going to not put anything tonight. <laughs> We're going to be positive thinking. It's going to cut out really well. I can, but Marilyn, I don't think I put in enough. <laughs> I don't think I put in enough um clock. And then yeah. Hey everybody. 
I don't think I put in enough flock now. Awesome. So it's we're gonna see. It's gonna be fine. It's all good. It will. It will. So the template that I wanted to make was a really old one that I made, and it's it's school related, so it's nothing anybody would want. And so I was digging through my things, and lo and behold, I found it, and it's on glitter cardstock. Are so, you over glitter cardstock now? Because the other night you were talking about glitter cardstock. Well, it's because I was pulling out my old designs, and there they are on glitter cardstock, which, you know, cuts really well and fast for me, especially on the Glowforge. Mm -hmm. But I've gotten spoiled with the flock that mm -hmm. makes it easier to brush them in. You don't have to worry about the stones, you know, going under it like you do with this. So, yeah. I'll make it though. You yeah. gonna work? It'll work. We'll get there. <laughs> May take three times, but we'll get there. It'll work. It's gonna work. <laughs> so, are the kids happy to be back? Are they behaving well? Did you have to use your stern teacher voice yet? Not yet. They're they're all loving me right now. So, and you know, so some of my kids. So I had to. I have eleventh grade, and so my eleventh graders, who are now seniors, well, the seniors now, I had them for two years in a row. So I had them for tenth and eleventh grade that year because we didn't have as many support facilitators as we do now, mm -hmm. and they are so attached to me. Mm -hmm. And I kind of feel bad for my coworker who has to get them now because they're coming to Miss Wilson or I need to go. Right, to right, right. Or Miss Wilson didn't do it that way. Yeah, and I'm like, please don't. But they're already they're all really good. They're all on track to graduate. Like some of them, most of my kids, like because I'm kind of a pest. <laughs> they, they only need like three or four credits to graduate. Mm -hmm. So they're all really good. Their GPAs are intact. I may have like two or three that have other circumstances that they're right there at the borderline and we were able to get them there, but they will not. I'm like, you guys can't do this. Like I have new students now, but they know that they're always going to be my kids. I'm like, don't worry. I'm going to invite you to my parties. You're always welcome to my <laughs> parties. And they're just like, okay, we thought so because... Oh, but I'm, I'm, I kind of miss some of them. Yeah. I had a few that didn't come back, like just mm -hmm. a few. But well, when you get to know them that well and you spend a couple of years with them and then all of a sudden they're with somebody else, that is hard. It's kind of like when the seniors graduate and they're just gone and you want them to be gone and, and move on with life and all that, but you do become attached. I become attached, but you know what? But this is the reason why I really did not like advocate and push for them this year because one they have to know that they can do it um without me or alone or wherever mm -hmm. and also so that by when they're they're graduating i'm not an emotional wreck because when i had the middle school oh my goodness marilyn the parents would come <laughs> like graduation day for the eighth graders and i would be in tears oh, like, no. No talk like i couldn't even get out what i wanted to say uh -huh. and so i don't want that situation for uh -huh. I, I just i can't i can't take it because i was i'm talking like the, the ugly cry the ugly cry and so i'm like you know what at least this way i'll have the whole year to where yes i will still get a chance to see them and everything right. but i won't be so attached to where it's just bad so it's you weaning yourself away from them, oh, not yeah. them weaning themselves away. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Can you imagine going through that emotion? Well, you know what it's like. That's an emotional roller coaster every single year. It is. And like at graduation, because I'm up on the stage, and my first few years were really tough. I mean, I was tearing up and, you know, now I just have to kind of disconnect and just make it through. Yeah. But yeah, it is difficult. It's rough. Uh oh, we have. I'm sorry, guys. Marilyn and I were talking. Y'all know Marilyn is my therapist tonight. Hey, y'all. 21 months. Thank you. Wow. Kenya. 21. That's a long time. That is. That's a long time to be on this hot mess train, Kenya. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> and everybody that I kind of skipped, I'm sorry, y'all. I love y'all. Thank you for being here. I'm kind of trying to go down the list, but 
y'all know y'all know your girl is a hot mess so i'm waiting on this to finish cutting i hope it cuts we do have some exciting news though we have chris doing her zoom tomorrow Oh, for the mini backpack. What time is it? Oh, I can't remember. She put it in the chat in the uh, unbiased slide, but I can't remember. She said what you need and all that good stuff. And she said she would post it in the baby's boobies something. Chris, let us know. Okay. Tell us all the deets. Oh, check. Dempsey Hopper got you. Check out Dempsey Boo for some bullying too. <laughs> she yeah. over there bullying. Hi, Mayor Bear. So you knew I'd forget something. There's two things I forgot to plug in my charger. So I need to just step around the other side, do that, so you don't, you know. What's you new, Marilyn? So What's you don't new? yell at me. And then I need my glue stick to be able to glue this down. So I'll be right back. Okay. And I can hear you. So. Y'all know she says, oh, I can hear you. Talking so about me like about you usually are. See, I told y'all, I can hear you. Like, that's going to stop me from talking trash. <laughs> it's not going to, it's not going to stop me from talking trash. <laughs> should know that. <sighs> she should know that. Hey, everybody, if I missed you, I'm so sorry, y'all. My eyes are tired and I can't. I'm like focusing on Marilyn. Let me not her red chair because y'all know she always forgets something. She forget her charger, she forgets the stones, she forgets everything. So, luckily, I'm here to help her remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Luckily, you do remind me of stuff. So, it's, oh my goodness, Marilyn, 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 guess. <gasps> oh no, <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> oh, hey, Sin. Hey, Dorica. Just craft therapy. Hey, everybody. It's not a great life if you don't learn something and pass that on, right? It's not a great life if you don't mess something up. <laughs> okay, that's more like it. I, I think, up. isn't that what happened to Eve the other night and she hadn't like clipped something? No, hers was going to funk, a funk, a funk, a funk. But it seems like somebody didn't clip something down and it was going sideways or something. I don't know. You're going to have to teach me though because I'm getting one. Oh, Marilyn, that means we're going to have to have a Caesar Romeo yes. live together. I ordered it and it should be here in a couple days. <laughs> I can't wait. You're going to love it, Marilyn. I'm so excited. You are going to love it. I love it. It's quick. It actually reminds me very much um of the solo of the star uh -huh. solo it reminds me of it a lot um even like the max speed is the same the max speed is 13. the uh i was about to say judith the romeo is 13 also the max speed so i'm kind of like using almost the same settings that i use on the solo with the romeo so i heard you talking about pressure do you use pressure of what 40 244 what's your pressure oh with the ss10 uh oh yeah i did not have enough with the ss10 i use um 50 50 or 50 between like 50 and 53 it depends on if i you know keep pressing the numbers but with ss6 53 and the ss10 44 44 okay because yeah. you know what size i'll be cutting mostly SS10, of course, because <laughs> that's what that's what I like to do. Hey, Rachel. <laughs> somebody on Facebook. I can't see who, who's saying something on Facebook. <laughs> they said, hey, Marilyn, nice to see you and your partner together again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Oh, y'all, let's hope this isn't a disaster. I don't even have the energy right now. 
to do. You know, you were talking earlier about last time we did a bling, and so even I did a bling the other night, and I made the shirt I have on, and even though intellectually I know it hasn't been that long since you and I did one together, it seems so long. It seems like forever. It does. And like, we just got back from um, North Dakota three and a half weeks ago, and that seems like forever. And our truck, is still, our truck is still up there. Oh, are you serious? Mm -hmm. It is fixed. And now we're waiting on the transporter to get it down here. Carolina. But luckily, uh, the warranty paid for the transport, which is pretty pricey, you know, and a fix because it was under warranty. So it's not a big financial issue. It's just Tim wants his truck back. Oh, I know you, that the whole situation was just too much. That's uh, it's like nobody was thinking about that. Like that was and fun. you know, if I didn't have to be at work just a few days later, it wouldn't have been as big of a deal. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, it was also our 30th anniversary and we were supposed to go to the Great Lakes over there and tootle around it, them, it, just one of them. Mm -hmm. So it was just bad timing. It was. And you're just now about to get the truck back. Just about, yeah. So I got to ring the bell again. Guess what? My black diamond friend over here, Miss Dorica, has been with us for 20 months, y'all. 20 that's a long time. I wonder so, how long I've been with you. Huh? I wonder how long I've been in here with you. For a very like, long time. Watching you, not, you know, it's been a while, but it just, it, yeah. Time mm -hmm. is so weird. Time is so elusive and weird. It is, it is. But thanks, Dorica. All right, y'all. Let's see how much I messed this up. All right, so this is the end. I was closing off, so I'm expecting this part to be not good. And I do see where there are cuts there. I don't know how I didn't change the size. But hey, everybody. And I saw somebody ask me about, so on the other channel on Craft of, Craft abilities. Um, we work with students to do like we teach them how to make things, church or whatever it is that they may want to make. And so we were working with a student, and somebody asked me about him, and he is doing awesome. He is the biggest pain in my side, <laughs> but. He is doing absolutely amazing. And I'm so proud of him. Um, now, you are talking about a student and not Terrell, right? Being the biggest. Oh, <laughs> oh well, we already know Terrell is the biggest <laughs> ever. We can't help it. <laughs> y'all, look, y'all, look. Wait, wait, let's see. If, let's see how this did. So I want to tell you guys, like, I flipped it over. Uh-oh. So it didn't really cut good. Well, it cut good, but I still have some some holes or dots to get out. So we're going to get that out on our table. This is what I do when I'm alone. You guys will see. It didn't do too bad, but I think I just didn't have it right. So that's all the stuff that we have. So these are for my, my auntie, um, well, my cousin, she's having a baby. And so her mom wants a bling hoodie. So she's getting, she's um, she ordered a bling hoodie, a custom bling hoodie for her and for uh, the paternal grandmother. And so that's what, tonight I'm making the one for the paternal grandmother and I'll make the one for my auntie maybe Friday. I don't know what I'm gonna do Friday. But, not, um, students. Ryan, he is doing really, really well. He had a good summer, and 
He's going to have a great year. He's on track. So that's one that I'm like, okay, I'll see you when you graduate. Go to your new person. Now, did he do a DTF shirt with you? Is that what it was? Yeah, he did a DTF shirt. And then he actually purchased a DTF transfers from me. And he had like an order of about 90 shirts. Oh, he's, wow. been, he's been doing pretty good. He's been doing that is wonderful. He he's he works way better than Terrell. <laughs> I'm so serious. Even Terrell even says that like <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I gotta give him his props. <laughs> like I can't even do that. And so he does what he needs to do, he gets the job done and he moves on. And so I really like that about him, and he's really excited about about doing it so all right this is what i do y'all i just put it on my table i'm gonna put it right here actually and then i'm just gonna have to scrape these off because i don't have time to be picking these out one by one hey everybody i'm scrolling down if you guys have any questions let us know marilyn checked for the dates for the next buy-in the buy-in is going to be on august 31st right mayor bear was it August 31st or August 30th? I'll look again. Oh, I don't know. Now I can't remember. It was, I think it was a Thursday. And Dems probably knows too. She usually knows. It, it, you're right, August 31st. Well, you were right. You're the one who told me that thing. You have a better memory than me. <laughs> I had no idea. So, Marla. Okay, so the StarCraft solo, let me show you guys what happened. So, I started cutting this out before the live and this was the first cut and so what it did was i had it too close to the edge and so it just cut the edge it barely cut the edge and then it did a this was inside of the caesar so i barely cut the edge and then it just put like little dots where there were supposed to be holes it's almost just like distorted uh circles and so you have to be careful with placement with the solo. I don't really have to be that, that careful. And no matter how close it is to the edge, it's going to cut it. So I got to figure out like how to do that. But outside of that, I love the Caesar. It's very, very comparable to the StarCraft solo. The, the difference is, is that the solo has a cutting width of uh, 16 inches and the Romeo, I keep wanting to say Juliet, and the Romeo has a cutting width of 24 inches wide. So those are uh, the differences, but they all can cut continuously. So they can all cut continuously. Are there Huh? Would you say? I'm before? sorry. Ernie says she's banning herself from watching any new premieres on new toys. What you say? She's banning herself from watching any uh, premieres on new toys. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie, why do you have to treat me like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice, Ernie. That is not nice. I have a few, like I have my new DTF printer that I haven't posted that unboxing yet, but it's just because I've just been kind of out of it. I have like, I've had so much stuff to do. And then do I have anything else? I think that might be it. So I have the, the Romeo unboxing and the DTF printer unboxing. And I think that's it, Ernie. So you're pretty safe. I don't have <laughs> much else going on. So don't worry. You can watch it. I know you don't really want a DTF printer, so don't, don't worry. Marilyn, how's your DTF printer going? It is going really well. And really, so maintenance for me is it has the automatic shaker system, you know, so so many times a day it shakes. It comes on by itself. Mm -hmm. And then if I come up here, I just push it again just to be safe. And okay. then each day I press the little print head cleaning thing. And I think I talked about this before when people were talking about having to do so many print head cleanings. I thought they meant like, like on a regular computer where a print head cleaning is takes more time and you know it seems like a bigger deal. It's really not a big deal on the Proco. 
So it shakes itself before I print, I do the print head cleaning and then I shake it again and I'm good to go. And I have not printed every day, but on the days when I print it, it's been fine. I had um, one day where the white wasn't all that thick and everything, I had told you about that. Mm -hmm. And I did the print head cleaning, shook it again, did another print, it was fine. So I love it. And I love the little oven. Yeah, for curing, yep. yep. They kind of, so they changed it. They kind of upgraded their uh, system a little bit because the in the old printer that I have, the old L1800, it took a, not a long time to do the um, maintenance on it, but it did take a little bit longer to do the print head cleaning. But on this new printer, oh, it cleans it like in 10 seconds. Like you didn't even have to to wait a while for it, but the other one you had to wait a little bit of time. So I have the smaller one versus what you have, and I would say print and cleaning takes maybe thirty seconds, maybe forty seconds. It's it's not long. Um, mm -hmm. It seems like when I manually say go ahead and shake up that ink, that's maybe forty five seconds. I'm not. I've never timed it. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's pretty fast. Now, if you're standing there, you're like, okay, get it done so I can print. Maybe it's a little annoying, but in, in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty quick. But so. by you doing it the way that you do it, like whenever you just go in there, you may walk past and say, you know, let me just go ahead and press this little button. And I do. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? I'm using 30 seconds worth of electricity, and that's not that big of a deal. So um, somebody asked me what color shirt this was, and I'm not sure the, the name of the color. This is a good fellow shirt from Target. It was in the men's section. It's a V-neck, and the fabric is really nice. Um, let me see if it has a color on it. I don't really see a color, but you know, it's a very dark, Kind of maroon. It's sixty percent cotton, forty percent recycled polyester. So it's not going to shrink. Okay, what did we miss? Let's show you. So Hilda is converting an Epson stylus. R1900 to DTF, but I'm sure which rip software I should get. So I don't even know what mine is called. It came with the system. Um, Patrice, you've used, have you used two different types of rip softwares? Yeah, so I've used um, Cadley and also uh, AcroRip. That's what I've been using lately, AcroRip lately. And just so you know, when you get them, let's say you get another printer or anything like that, most uh, places you have to purchase like another uh, software license if you're going to use multiple printers on one printer. But both of them work fine with me. You just have to like play around with your settings when you get ready to print so that you can get the colors that you, you want. I'm not even sure which one is that I have. Well, you probably have the version of the, if it came from ProColor, so ProColor actually has its own, and I've been using oh. one that they have um, mm -hmm. lately because with the new printer that I have, it's like a dual head printer. Mm -hmm. So I, um, I've i been using their RIP software. It's not like the other, oh my goodness, I put this on one. The other RIP software they had, um, it was uh, very similar to Acro RIP. Okay. I so say whatever it is, it's really, really easy to use. I mean, I was always so worried that it was some complicated, really complicated process, and it's really not bad. Yeah. But what I think people uh, sometimes don't know or don't realize is that it's not really a design software. It's really just for the purpose of you to be able to print out using uh, your white ink and stuff. Yeah, that's I have. That's all I've tried to use it for. It's just to run my printer, not for anything else. Yeah. 
Did you did you get main top? Because at one time they had main top, but I could I did not like main top with the first printer that I had, so they had to give me another um rip software with it. I haven't noticed. <laughs> I'm so unobservant. I haven't noticed what the name of it is. So the little icon is red. And I think it just comes up and says pro colored. I don't Oh then it's then that must be like their new they just did that new one, so that's probably the new their version their Oh, okay. Well whatever it is, it's super easy. Yeah. It is easy. Is it one part or two part? Do you have like a do you have to open up two because I know with the door I have to open up two um two programs, two different programs. Mm -hmm. Software and then like another print portal or something like that. No, I just open it up and then you click on is that mine? Yes. You click on the little picture icon that means, says, you know, bring your image and then size your image. And then I haven't even been messing with the colors. I did see you can, you know, vibrance and saturation, all that good stuff. Um, and then you just hit rip and you choose whether you want it to print automatically or wait to print manually. And that's about it. Okay. So, okay, Twyla says pro rip. That's what it's called for red. That's probably what it is. It's either red or orange, and it's a P that's on the icon. Um, so I like that. It just says, it, well, it's like you were talking about earlier, Facebook user, uh, <laughs> wanting to know if you mind them asking what font you use. <laughs> I don't mind, but half the time I don't remember. That's me. Um, but I will try to remember. If I don't write it down, I don't remember. But I think I use a font called uh, Boyfriend, which is the word Nana. And then for Trey, I got, I'm going to look. So remind Somebody remind me to look for the font. I don't remember. And then for the words established 2023, I used uh, third grade. It's called BFC third grade. And it's the single line one. But the other ones I can, I don't even remember y'all. Y'all know, I don't remember nothing. I don't either. I just kind of scrolled through until I find something I like and then I go with that. That's what. But I've been trying to like go away from using like my favorites that I, I kind of get stuck on using. So I wanted to use some different um, fonts. Let's see how this cut out, y'all, because this is where I had the where it was right there at the edge. And I cut this with the Caesar Romeo without any backing on it. The same way I do my solo. I don't use a, a mat. Okay. So solo. it was me. Yeah. It, I was like it says Facebook user says, hi, Patrice, Marilyn, and everyone. Hi, Facebook user. Hi. <laughs> Put your name in the chat so we know who you are. <laughs> I know. I actually, so y'all, I've, I've only been gone for a week and I forgot how to set the live up. So that's why we're we have we're on Facebook because I really clicked the wrong social network. Platform. Oh, I see. <laughs> that's a <laughs> mess. Okay, but you're live on YouTube, right? Yeah. I'm like, girl, you need to go to bed now, then, because you don't even know what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, but we are not gonna go to bed. I'm going to make this because I have to make this. Like this is an actual order. So I have to make it. My cousin's having her first baby and her mama is super excited. Oh, the first. Yeah, her first. So is it her mother's first grandchild? Yep. Oh. Yep. And so she's gonna be the first baby um, in our family since Taylor and Taylor oh, is wow. 17 years old. So nice. This is gonna be really fun. Everybody's gonna love all over this baby. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. When you're at your, uh, were you at your grandmother's house or were you at your aunt's house at Christmas? That's my aunt's house. Okay. Well, anyway, when everybody's sitting around grandma, yeah. they're going to be loving on that baby too. Get lots of pictures. And this cousin, she, she lives in New York. And so that just gives everybody more reason to oh, go. Yeah. So it was Jennifer Hancock. She says she's on Facebook and on YouTube. I think, I think that's what she's meaning is that's her. And oh. Or maybe she means you're on both, but she said it was, I think she said it was me. Hi, Sharon Davis. Hey, Sharon. Hey, everybody. I'm a hot mess. I can barely even see the screen right now. Now that I can't see it. My eyes are so tired. Not to get this sun. <laughs> no, I'm not good. I'm a hot mess. I've been so busy. And... With school starting, the only thing like with school starting, like you have to have all your lesson plans, you have to be prepared for the kids to come in. So that kind of takes up a lot of time. It takes away our crafting time, doesn't it? Yes. And then I would have like some crafting time, but then I have like orders and stuff, and it's like, oh, this is not fair. Darn jobs are getting in the way of our fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it goes, Marilyn. You're back at you're back at the school. And then I got a new class, but the only fun the more well, okay, so it hasn't been all bad. It hasn't been bad at all, actually. She's been busy. But I can't wait to show you guys my classroom. So I got my own class this year, and I'm super excited about that. I got to decorate it however I want. I'm going to miss my, my partner, but she's only two doors down from me. And I decorated my class, and it's black. I didn't want to go too dark, but y'all know I like black. So it's black and teal with sunflowers. Oh, that sounds pretty. It's so pretty. I put wallpaper, a little bit of wallpaper up, and yeah. So my son's walls in his bedroom are black. All, all the walls? All the walls. That's well, not yeah, walls. not the ceiling, but, you know, yeah, all the walls. It is nice. That's nice. It's very, you know, it's nice and masculine, and um, I, it's kind of calming to have the dark walls. Yeah. I want to kind of be neutral um, and then have still have, like, a – little bit of color so the sunflowers but it looks it, i can't wait to show you guys i love it like i don't even want to leave out of there that's how much i love it so i get to work early i do <laughs> yep I'm not an early morning person that's because you're up all night Marilyn. well I am up late. That's why. But I've always been that way. I can remember when I was a kid, my mom had come wake me up, you know, for school. I was like, five more minutes, mom. Five more minutes. <laughs> like, I just went to sleep. Right. When the uh, snooze alarms came out, they made that for people like me. <laughs> yeah, no. I sleep, so I don't sleep a lot, but like yesterday when I came home, I got home a little late yesterday. So I got, I know I said I came home and went straight to bed, but I still got home like a little bit after eight last oh, night. Wow. Girl, I got ready for bed and I was out. <laughs> I had so many text messages when I woke up. I was like, oh, sorry. I was in mid text falling asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I haven't been able to keep up with anything. So. Oh my goodness. That's how I edit videos. Like in the evening, if I'm editing a video, I'll be on the couch and I'm trying to edit and then I'm falling, you know, it's like, okay, give it up. Mm -hmm. I just can't keep you. Have you ever fallen asleep with the computer like 
right in front of you on the desk or on your lap or something? On yes, on my lap. But not not me sitting at a desk. If I'm oh. sitting on the couch and I'm kind of slumped over and I'm doing it, I have fallen asleep that way. But never, you know, truly sitting up at a desk or anything. And yes, Marilyn has gone back to work. I think Gail asked if we had if we had gone back to school. Oh, yeah. So our kids showed up. I went back August for uh, August second, whatever the Monday, the first workday of Monday was in August. And then our kids finally came last Wednesday. And it's a lot better with kids around. It is a lot better with kids around. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it's so much better. Hey Patrice, do you yeah. mind showing my table? I don't, I told you to tell me when to show your table, Marilyn. Hey Patrice, can you show my table? Yeah, of course, Mary Bear. <laughs> All right, because I know, I don't, Chris was here a little bit ago, Jesse's here, and uh, it's just so much harder to see this stuff. You need some little help. I'm going to make you big. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw that look when it was me. You were like, oh. <laughs> no, because you have uh, to There goes our compressor <laughs> in the garage. Oh, it's fine. You're good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can barely see what's overlapping or if there's anything overlapping. I see one stone that looks shaped. No, it's fine. It just seems smaller. Maybe I got an SS6 in there. I think I have something to get cut. Yeah. <laughs> Tarika, <clears throat> that sounds like something I would do. She's got Alexa waking her up at 620, 630, 645, and 7. She has to clock in at 730, and she's always late. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't think the alarm clock will wake me up. I get up before the alarm. Even when I said it, I'm like, you know, I'm going to try oh. to. I still get up. Not me. Not me. Once I'm out, especially like my best sleep is from like four in the morning till six thirty in the morning. Mm -hmm. You get around that time and I'm like out. So I saw somebody earlier asking Gail if she's used her new venture yet, but I didn't see the answer. So Gail, are you using your venture? I need to do a comparison of the venture to. I forgot who asked about the comparison for the um, solo. I know DIY with Alex asked me about doing a comparison for solo and the Caesar, I think. Oh, that would probably be a good comparison. Yeah. But I assume they come out, you know, decently even. Maybe not. Do what? I said, I assume those two would come out fairly even, but I said, maybe not. Yeah. I think they're going to come out pretty even. Um, the only the only uh, disadvantage would be that I know how to, like, I'm good with the solo. Like, I feel confident uh -huh. with the solo. And so with the Caesar, I don't want my inexperience of the machine to, like, yeah way somebody to say well no it's not good when right. i'm the one who's not all experienced with the caesar just that that's a good point you know because obviously if you know how to do the other one you're going to be more comfortable doing that yeah. so it's a good idea to wait until you've had a lot more experience with it yeah because i love the venture at first i mean i still like it if because you have people who are just you know, pro cricket, everything cricket does, yeah. and they love cricket because kind of like me, like I, I, I feel a little like cricket is where I started, so I always kind of want to, you know, go back to it. But honestly, 
it is not really comparable to the Caesar um, Romeo. It wow. yeah, can cut as wide as the Caesar Romeo can cut. It can cut as long, but you can only use your smart materials. Like the with my flock, I was oh, just fabulous. flock inside of the the Romeo and cut it. I didn't put on a mat or anything. It will have to go on a mat going inside of the venture, and so that. You know. I am looking forward to hopefully having that you know experience where either I don't have to use a mat, or if I use the mat, you know that it's still on the backing. The backing comes off the mat easily, and it's no big deal. Mm-hmm. You're gonna love it, Marilyn. You're going to absolutely love it. It's so pretty, too. Yes. So cool looking. You are going to love it. It's so easy to use. Oh, I had one extra stone there, but I can pull it off. Yeah. Okay. You're ready to brush this in. So, I have not been looking. What did Linda Gray say? Linda said, try not to regret something. Yeah, and yeah, I do. I love my Cricut Maker. I really do. And I love how easy it is. I don't really use Cricut Design Space to design. Once in a while, I will just to show something on a video, since a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Okay. I really like it. So what did Linda Craig? Let me go back up. Got a lot of people. Yeah. Hilda, I need a, an alarm that you chase around the room too. And so I did used to put my alarm clock across the room. Old fashioned that you had to get up and turn it off. I would put it around not around the room. I would put it on the other side of the room so I'd have to get up. We can help be yelling at Alexa. You told, you told her to wake you up. Don't be yelling at her. <laughs> Do we go? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, they have a new commute, 30 minutes instead of an hour and a half. An hour and a half commute would be horrible. Linda Gray, I was crazy enough maybe to go back into the classroom for a little while. Yesterday was my first day back. Whew. <laughs> oh. oh, Gail, I'm glad you're fine. Tropical storm has passed. Let's see, Gail says her solo still in the box, ordered it the day that 143 launched it. Patrice loves her solo, Gail. I do. I love it so much that I feel guilty every time I cut flock with the Caesar. <laughs> that solo has got me through. Like I haven't had, like I, I don't really use the Cricut, either the Maker or the Explorer, the three, whatever. I don't use, use it often. I think I use the Joy more to cut flock than I do. Really? In, yeah. In like any of the Cricut machines. The Joy was probably one of my, and I know some people love it. The Joy was probably one of my regrets. One of my, let's let's play that game, Patrice. Do you have any old things that you're like, why did I buy this? Um. <laughs> Marilyn, you would have asked me a hard question like that. <laughs> I know you love your teeny tiny little mini iron. Oh, that's my favorite. I know that's one of your favorites, yes. So I know that's not it. But the joy, the joy was probably the thing that I bought it and I just thought I had to have it and then I really didn't. I would say, you know what, that's probably true. I, I would say like the joy maybe I don't really need it. Yeah. Um 
like I like to cut like the decals with it because it's just so much easier just to get it down and use that instead of you know that's true um, yeah if yours are put up you know it, they're definitely easier i tried to love mine i would like sit on the couch and put it by me on the couch and do little stickers for things no if you don't but, love it you just don't love it and you know not so much oh okay so hsm home shopping network they were going to have the Romeo on it, and I thought I saw somebody earlier that said they did and they got one. And they said that was on there. How much was it on there? Anybody know? So let's see. Picture me crafting. And it's her Linda. Her Linda. She says her regret was the Cricut hat press. Only used it once. The hat press. I don't use it often. In fact, I don't use many hat presses often. So that might be, I would say that could possibly be a regret of mine because I don't use, I have like maybe about four hat presses and I don't use them. I just don't make hats. Yeah. I'm gonna make a hat next week. <laughs> I make hats. I make you them. love them. Yeah, you do. So it was six forty nine with an extra material bundle. Hi. Oh, that's um, good. So, Tamika, I'm using glitter cardstock, and it's actually gone really smoothly because I decided to glue it down with a glue stick instead of trying to use a double sided tape. So, Shonda also says her regret is a hat press. Yeah, I don't use my hat press at all. Aw, Karen in. That's so sweet. So she was trying to send a super chat and YouTube won't let Oh, no worries. Thank you for being here, Karen. I appreciate you being here because I took a little bit of time off. I almost took this week off too. But so happy to be here with y'all tonight and Marilyn agreed to come on with me and hang out with me but it's quick live Sheila <laughs> Marilyn this is gonna be a quick live <laughs> you know what though because I was you know I have that thing I have to do that's gonna take about an hour Mm -hmm. And just, you know, you work all day and then you come home and you're stressed and all that. And mm -hmm. now I'm feeling much more relaxed. Good. Good crafting therapy. I'm happy that you feel more relaxed. Oh, so Sheila says they have Romeo on swing design for $6.49 with a lot of tons of vinyl bundle all the time. Okay. I didn't know that. Okay. I know somebody asked me the other day, I think, about the Silhouette Studio, the software. They're like, I always see this website, Swing Design, but I don't think it's a legitimate website. I'm like, it's legitimate. You know, it's That's company. what I thought at first. I was like, Swing Design, they're selling these like cards, you know, the licenses for this yeah. stuff. Are they pirating it or what? And then yeah. I realized, okay, it is legit. Because it's so busy. It's a very, very busy website. Like, it's just so yes. much on there. There is. Yeah, and then the, I think it's maybe like the structure of it. It kind of throws you off a little bit. Yeah. So, but no, it's a legitimate website. Eve. Hey, Eve. Eve's in the chat. Hey, Evie. Happy Tuesday. Did I tell y'all happy Tuesday earlier? If I didn't, happy Tuesday, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Okay. Let's see. Jennifer wants to know what your design says. Hey, you want to make us all even now or equal size? This mine's boring. Mine's not boring. You're, you're, it's okay. not it's really not you know, it's really not so mine is for um my cousins uh for my auntie 
and it says Trey's Nana. And then I have another one that I have to make. I'll probably make that on Friday. I'm only gonna make one shirt, one thing tonight. And that one says Trey's Grammy. That is cute. That's 2023. So this is my auntie's first grandbaby, and she's super excited. And she has to go up. She wants these to be done. So I need to have them ready for her uh, by Sunday because she's actually going to go up to New York uh, for the delivery. So she wants to wear her hoodie. Let's see. We had a couple new people come in. Hi, Barbara and Rosie. Hey, y'all. If, hopefully I said that right. It's either Rosie or Rosie, but I'm going to guess Rosie. So let us know, Rosie, if it's Rosie. And I'm going kind of slow because I did it. So I want the word Nana, the outline, to be a different color than the shadow of Trey. So I'm kind of just trying not to have any fall. Ideally, I would place these on two separate pieces of a flock or at least not put them close together like this. But I'm not going to be making nobody else's Trey's Nana except Trey's Nana. So <laughs> I won't be making it anymore. So I really didn't want to waste too much flock. Right. But I could always use, I could still use the Portia Nana. So I could tape off the name Trey, tape off Established 2023, and add something else there if I wanted to. Like add another name. So is Eve at Hobby Lobby? We're talking about Hobby Lobby. Um, the Hobby Lobby, Evie? Somebody else said, okay, it was To Be Young Gifted Black said her. Regret was also the cricket hat press. Yeah, you don't have press. Fortunately, I don't. I don't feel like I have many regrets. That's I'm, I'm really trying to think of one. The hat press I could do without the hat press. I don't really make hats, um, mm -hmm. but I do have like a, a actual hat press, Oops. not a handheld hat. Mm -hmm. press. I have a few of those. Um, did you say you have a few of those? Yeah. I have a few of everything. Really. <laughs> <laughs> so. I just want to come visit you and see where you store all this stuff. It's a hot. Ask Eve how, ask Eve how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a pretty decent job with storage. Uh-huh. Well, you use the vertical storage, you know, like your shelves where you have printers and all that, and it looks really nice. Yeah, other rooms can store too. Yeah. <laughs> that are not used. Yeah. Behind the couch that's almost against the wall. Uh-huh. Every I single have some space. Stuff the couch upstairs here. Yeah. It all works. Yeah. It all works. <laughs> All right, got this part almost done. I still ended up getting um, stones in the portion that I didn't want to get them in, but it's going to be fine. Marilyn, are you almost done with yours? And I'm taking. No, no, I'm trying to figure out how to move this off to the side because I have a feeling some of these stones are going to hop out of here, but uh -oh. there we go. All right, I need to look at the chat. I'm sorry, y'all. I'd rather do. I'd rather place my design down here. Eve says she's ready to go back and visit you, too. Yes, Eve. You know, whenever, let me know. We're gonna be blinging and making things and eating good lunch and dinner. All right, y'all. Be mixing up more stones. I know. Mixing stones really is fun. Especially when you get like a good, good mix. It's really fun. <laughs> I just don't like to mix my stones though. I like them to be, like to have 
their own group, like no mixing. Oh, okay. Somebody asked you in the chat if you like something better than the other, and it had to do with brushes. If um, I like. Let me see if I can find it. Which brush are you using tonight? The bone one? Yeah. Okay. I think they were asking if you had one that you liked better. Um, so I have always preferred the small brushes. Those have always been my favorite um, brushes to use. Like the... Hold on. So these are actually my favorite brushes to use. The only thing is, is that um, my SS6 rhinestones get caught in between the bristles. But with this one, I don't have to worry about that. Like none of them get stuck or caught. I don't end up mixing stones because sometimes I forget to brush them out. And this one is, this is pretty easy to use also. But my favorite, I don't know if it's because I can kind of hold it and kind of like, I don't know. But this one, the smaller ones have always been my favorite. What about you, Marilyn? I like, I like this one. It's the purple one that um, was from Eve. I don't know if the slant of it's a little different than the shirt lines. It's, it's longer than the shirt lines. And this part of it is narrower instead of getting so fat. So it's really easy to hold. So I like, I like this one. Yeah. And you can use the shirt line replacements for this. Yeah. It's just with my SS6 because I love SS6. If those get stuck. And so I always end up mixing stones because guess what? I forget to brush them off. And Karen N says that she finally unboxed her Epson 15,000. Yay. <gasps> After having it since December 2021, nearly two years. Oh ago. my goodness. Are you using it for sublimation? Yep. She did her first sublimation t shirt for a family picnic. They came out wonderful. Can't wait to do more awesome. And thank you for being a member for 10 months, Karen. And y'all be making me feel so special. Y'all stay on this hot mess train over here. And <laughs> I just don't know what to do with myself. Thank you. Good night, Jennifer. Good night. That's Jennifer. She's got to go to bed. She said 4 a.m. comes like it's it's the witching hour for her because she has to get up at 4 a.m. Oh, good night. We'll see you later. <laughs> I don't like that. And so today I had to help pass out schedules. Because like yesterday and today I had to help pass out schedules. So that meant that I had to be to work um, a little earlier because we, we start passing out schedules at like 7.05. Ooh. And so I had to do a few things in my class. And so I was like, I had to get there super, super early today. So I'm going to sleep a little bit later in the morning. So do they have you pass out schedules in the first period? Well, I guess the kids wouldn't know where to go to first period yeah. of their mm -hmm. schedule. So they come to the gym. Oh, okay. They come to the gym. We have our, our school only has about 1,200 uh, students. We don't, <laughs> only. we don't have a lot of kids at our school. We have like the smallest school in our district. Huh. Our, the, the smallest high school in our district. So, where the way you laugh because your school is small. Ours is tiny. Time. You're still four times the size of ours. See, and we consider that time. We consider our school small. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to go to a nice, intimate, small school? Come to my school. <laughs> <laughs> There's only 1,200 kids there. <laughs> Not a lot. It's all right. Uh, thank you, Jamie. Oh, somebody's ringing a bell. It may have been for, it might have been for the uh, Aaron membership thing. I didn't see anything because I can't see anything. Vincent texted me to let me know that I missed anything. So, somebody says she didn't. 
I'm probably overdoing it with these stones, but all right. So here maybe here I'll put just so I can avoid getting and I'll show you guys why I like using this one as opposed to this one with the small stones. Hey Nomi. Jamie said she went to school with 1,300 kids and that was large. <laughs> Yo, I promise you guys, I have the smallest school. We have the smallest school in my in my district. Like it's way smaller. <laughs> I'm way off. Hey, Nicole. Right, that'll be like this one, how I'm doing this, like this one might help me control like where the stones go a little bit better than the big one, maybe. We'll see. We will see. We will see. Somebody needs to devise a hack for me to help me figure out how to get my rhinestones on my shirt without having to move them 20 times. <laughs> Here's gonna be my hack. It's gonna be it. What's your hack, Marilyn? I'm gonna put it on this parchment paper, not parchment, Teflon. I can slide it around. I can do my measuring before it's stuck anywhere. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't anybody do this? This might be good. You're doing it. So we're, you're testing why, it out. Why did it take that many, you know, the year, two years, whatever, to figure out I have an issue with this? It's fine. I mean, I knew I had an issue, but. <laughs> three quarters. Hey, that's pretty close. Okay, now get it straight. Stick it on there. Y'all know Marilyn cannot. She's probably gonna take it off again. Let's see. I can't deal with terribly unstraight stuff. Yeah. That's why I should do abstract rhinestones instead of clearly things that need to be straight. Yeah. That's what I try to do because it's just easier. Like if it's not straight, it doesn't really matter. Right, yeah. That's fine. I just cut my uh, collars off. <laughs> <laughs> that, works, that works great. Um, Jolanda, she, what'd you say? Third? No, not third grade. Um, well, the bottom is third grade, and the middle is a font called Boyfriend. And well, the word Nana is a font called Boyfriend, and then tray is i can't remember it's uh, it's what uh i gotta i'm gonna go check give me a few please remind me to check There's, there was something else you told us to remind you to do earlier also now I I i've forgotten it, i think it was the font too oh okay i think it was the font if i'm not mistaken so my auntie i'm like Girl, you are watching my channel and you want bling? Don't be watching my channel and then asking me for bling. No, y'all get vinyl or DTF, not bling. <laughs> oh, I want a bling. Uh uh. Oh. But for this special, oh, oh, yeah, but they're ordering it. I was say for this special occasion, they get bling, but. I was like, I do not do custom bling designs. Right. <laughs> Me neither. She was like, girl, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> That's not what I want to hear. And guess who did the custom bling design, everyone? You. What in the world is going on? Oh, such a slide. Such a slide. All right, I got to. But it's just over. So, bling. I've been out of it a little bit last week. Y'all know that. So the bling fest tickets, they're only available now for like the add-ons, right? So the like the day of bling fest, that one day ticket, I think is still available. 
Okay. And then the ver and you get a swag bag with it. The virtual ticket with the swag bag is still available, and then the virtual ticket. I think those are what's available. That premier ticket that was hotel room and food and the deluxe swag bag. If yeah. she cut it off last night, that's what she was going to do was cut it off last night because, of course, they have to plan. They have to get the catering person to get the food and they have to have, you know, they've got to release the room so the hotel can rent the rest of the rooms, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. They just have to plan. So. Makes sense. All right, that's for that. There's no um, virtual tickets available and the day of. So this is what I mean by like there's still stones inside of the brush. And so sometimes I'll start brushing something else and then those get mixed in with the stones. So Marilyn said that the, and Eve is in the chat. So Eve, if something changed, please let us know. <laughs> if we're telling people all wrong. <laughs> Let us know. So Jamie says she's looking forward to meeting people. I'm glad you're going to be there, Jamie. Yes, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm Me too. Excited. I get to bling with everybody. That is going to be fun. I haven't figured out what I was going to wear though for the either. dinner and what I'm going to bling on it. I might have to look online because I don't like doing clothes shopping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I make t shirts. <laughs> I, love, I love black tea and jeans or. I either do black tee and jeans or a white tee and jeans. That's usually my uniform. Yes. With Converse. I'm going to have to be fancy. Okay. I like to roll this out, make sure it's flat, but I'm not going to. Okay. Eve says. Nothing has changed. Tickets are still on sale, but the hotel accommodations are now closed. Okay, so the premier ticket with the meal and the hotel accommodations, Eve. Oh, Jamie and her cousin, Karen D. will both be there. Karen, oh, that's going to be fun. They won't have to sneak sneak in the basement to hang that's out. Right. Okay. Oh. okay. Ladies. That's probably what I'll do, Jamie. Hey, Sheila. Adrian's going to be there, too, on Saturday. Awesome. Good. All right, guys. So we have a little bit more to do. I'm going to actually use Sapphire. I should use Sapphire AB, but I'm actually almost done, y'all. Oh, LaShonda said, hey, LaShonda, she said she... She bought her dress already, and her dress has rhinestones on it already. Wow. That was smart. Let me go find me a white blinged out dress already. You know you can make it for less than trees. What well, look at you, Marilyn. <laughs> oh, Tent, is, is Tanya you here? Because maybe I need to send it to Tanya. you. Tanya, can you make me? Yeah, know? right. <laughs> Okay, so this is one of my older templates where I had kind of a big gap. So we're going to stretch the shirt, <laughs> try to fill that gap in a little bit. Okay. 
So have you ever seen the show Suits? A while ago, but I, I never really got into it. Oh, uh, Tim loves it. And so we watch it and I really, really like it too. Mm -hmm. And I know you, it's not murder mysteries and all that, but it's still legal <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Marilyn's like, Patrice, watch some fictional stuff, okay? <laughs> the stuff that you're watching. I watch the same stuff you're watching. I love it. Yeah. I'm trying to think what legal show I used to watch. Okay, first of all, don't judge my grandma. I used to love Matlock. And oh, yeah. I, I love, love Matlock. Oh, and. You like uh, Matlock too, Marilyn? My mom liked Matlock too. Yeah. And then that lady, the older lady, she's probably younger than what I am now, but she was Angela somebody. Murder, she wrote. I think so. <laughs> yep. My great grandma watched all that stuff, and so I was on it. I'm I was still. I was four years old watching those TV shows, so I can't help it now. Of course, I used to watch Law and Order a lot of it, but. When Stabler got kicked off of the show, I stopped watching. I don't know if you ever watched. So I've seen the Law and Order, you know, because there were several, like Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, and Criminal Intent. Something. Yeah. And there was, I don't even know the name of it, the one I watched most of the time. There's a lady that's been on for years and years. And then the guy's been on for years and years. And he's Olivia? like. Olivia? Olivia Benson? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Let me Google her and see if that's her. I never got too much in it. Oh, well, I used I have I haven't watched in a long time since Stay Where Left, but I was not happy about that. I think I, he might be on a, a new Law and Order now, but I just can't get back into it. They lost me. So, did you say Olivia Benson? Yeah, Benson. Oh, because Olivia Benson is like a character in. Benson, Benson. <laughs> She's some uh, young girl. Benson, B I N S O N. Try B E N S O N. Oh, okay. Oh, Stabler is back on SV, SVU. Sims? I was mad with them. It's been too long. It's been too long. It's been too many years now for me, because when he left, I wasn't happy about him leaving. So, uh oh, I have a extra stone on here somehow Where did that come from yes 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 that's her that's her okay so you like s s b s b u yes okay jesse says check the right of e stone something looks funny about it or on me yes on where the right of who of the e stone top right of e stone Long order organized crime. Well, I haven't seen organized crime. I, I used to watch Criminal Intent. That was a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Criminal Intent, SVU, and I used to watch the original Law and Order. And then I stopped. Yeah, yes. Jesse said he liked Matlock too. Oh, Jesse, I love some Matlock. I think what else? What other live shows I've watched? Oh, I used to watch Scandal, which I don't know if that was more so like public public relations type of show as opposed to um, law. What else did I watch? Oh, so Sandra says something about organized crime is new on Oxygen. Okay. Oh my gosh, Tianda. Tianda Golden Girl, <laughs> my thing. At night when I can't sleep, <laughs> I'm going to be up laughing at Sophia. Uh, I love Golden Girls. Hey, Breezy. Hey, Breezy. 
But I like shows like Golden Girls. I like shows. I like, uh, I don't watch them much. I don't know if you guys ever heard of a show or remember a show called Mama's Family. Yo, <laughs> Mama's Family was so funny. So funny. I love her Mama's Family. Who knows about Mama's Family? Really, have you ever seen Mama's Family? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, who, what's the actress's name on there? Was Carol Burnett on Mama's Family? It was, I think Carol Burnett was on Mama's Family. It was so funny, y'all. Girl, you need to see Mama's Family. Mama's Family is hilarious. Okay, she was. No, I don't even remember ever hearing about, but so the the oldest lady in it that looks the oldest is that when carol burnett is no carol burnett was a was young um during mama's family okay so do you remember from the carol burnett show the other lady that played with her vicky lawrence that's right marcia that vicky the mom is mama vicky lawrence yeah okay i'll say she looks like she could be vicky lawrence yeah i don't think i've ever seen that show what? Where I know. Have been? Where have you been? Where have I been? Marilyn. <laughs> okay, so Janina said that Mama's Family was a spinoff from Carol Burnett. Go ahead, Marilyn, you gotta go. You have to see. Maybe you two pass it. I don't know who. Okay, so. No, I don't think no. They don't really even have Nick at Night anymore. Nick at Night used to show like all the oh. good old shows, yeah. like the Patty Duke show, My Three Sons, Mister. Do- 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 you ever see Dobie Gillis? I love Dobie yes. Gillis. Yes, yes, and Mister Ed. I forgot about that show. That's hilarious. Mister Ed was hilarious. <laughs> they don't make like shows like that anymore. No. <laughs> Oh goodness! And then it used to be on like all night, so I, I didn't just start not sleeping. Like I've always been a person who didn't. Yeah. Sleep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Nick at Night is what I used to watch. Maybe I was in my 20s or so, mm-hmm. and it'd be late at night, and they'd have all those really old types of things on it. Mm-hmm. Sharon Davenport. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Thank you for being here, Sharon. Oh, Green Acres. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Green Acres. I love Acres. Y'all are a hot mess. Oh, Oats is starting over. Oh. Welcome. Oh. Oh, welcome. I got to get another name for her because the other night she was, it was everything was D. So, yeah. <laughs> it was, everything was D. Yeah, Beverly Hillbillies. Beverly Hillbillies. Green Acres. Oh. And that pig that would come in the house and what was it? Arnold? Arnold the pig, I think. I, I loved. Oh my goodness. Oh, I dream of Jeannie. Yeah. Yep, I dream of Jeannie. She was so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Uh oh. Marilyn, look, I'm taking forever. That's okay. That's okay. Somebody wants a, a start over. Oh, the Munsters and the Adams family. Yeah. The Adams family. I was a little scared of the Adams family, though. That's before I really like now watching true crime stuff, like nothing really, everything scares me, and then nothing scares me. So it's like, it's weird. <laughs> Everyone loves Lucy. Everyone, yes. Yes. I love Lucy. Hmm. I think one of my favorite one of my favorites was the Patty Duke show. I love Patty. Duke. I never watched that one. No, Marilyn. 
Mm-hmm. They always got into shenanigans. Really? Yep. Yep. <laughs> always. Of oh, Dems is bringing in the deep ones, Quantum Leap. Quantum. See, I never watched Quantum Leap. I don't really think I did either, but I think it was. Was that a traveling in time one where he jumped into situations and fixed things? Maybe. Uh, MacGyver. That was kind of a fun one. MacGyver's fun. Hmm. Yep. Ode to old TV shows. They wanted to make a poem. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna say we didn't start over. Oh, you no, know, she gave me like a deadline. I had like 48 hours where she wasn't gonna make me start over, but the 48 hours is done. <laughs> so, so. Did she want something in return for her giving up her 48 hours? That was my birthday present. Oh, okay. That was my that was my birthday present. I had 48 hours of not having to start over. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. Oh. Okay, now. Remake, yeah. <laughs> hey, v. Tell everybody we said hey. Wonder Woman, the $6 million man, Bionic Woman, Knight Rider. Mm, Knight Rider. Knight Rider was cool. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the six million dollar man and the bio- bionic woman. Yeah. Hmm. Now we're almost done. We yeah, got one more part to brush in. And Sheila, my quick live is still kind of quick, right? Marilyn, do you think it is? Okay. So even though your your mat was all crazy sideways and everything, it still cut that well. Yeah, it cut it pretty good. It did. Nice. But yeah, I had to turn it because when it was so close, it was like making little dots instead of the full uh, circles. So I don't know what that's about. But Delanda said her husband just wants to watch uh, Sanford and Son reruns over and over and over. Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> it, was my name. it was always was it Gloria? I'm coming to see you or something. Mm-hmm. He would act like he was having a heart attack. Was it? Was it Gloria? Who? What was her name? Uh, what? Wait. But it was always whatever her name was. Um, coming to see you or something yeah. like that. So, oh, y'all. So, I, I don't know if you guys watch Different World, but I had a student named Dwayne Wayne, and <laughs> do you know who Dwayne Wayne is? And yeah. He's looking at me like, uh, the basketball player. I was like, oh no, your mother didn't tell you who you named after. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth, that's it. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, I'm coming to see you or something like that. Elizabeth. Yes. Oh my. <laughs> How do you name Dwayne Wayne and you don't know Dwayne right. Wayne? Like, uh uh-uh. uh. So, my friend Carol, who blinged with me at your first bling thing we did, mm-hmm. she had neighbors two doors down. And when our kids were little, they'd be outside playing and we'd go out and watch them and, you know, yap and do stuff while they're playing. And there was this little boy that would come up and his sister. And their names, her name was Kara and his name was Michael. And mm-hmm. he always said, I'm Michael Jordan. So I'm not kidding you. For three or four years, I thought this kid's name was Michael Jordan. It was not Michael Jordan. <laughs> oh, Marilyn. <laughs> so my brother's name was Tim Duncan. And then, you know, there was a legendary basketball. Tim Duncan. My name, Tim Duncan. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. The mom said she couldn't get past all the the junk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Too much clutter. Ooh. But that was their business, right? Yeah. It was funny. Good times. Good times. 
So I see, uh, what's his name, JJ? Mm -hmm. I see him on commercials these days, you know, and he's like an older man. Yeah. It's weird to see that. He was just a scrawny teenager. Yep. Two twenty-seven. That sounds familiar, but I don't think I saw it. No, two two seven with Lester and Mary and Brenda. Oh, that was so good. Two two seven was really, really good. I think it comes on. No, it doesn't. I think I I saw it on Hulu before. I don't know if it's still on Hulu, hmm. but two two seven. It was really good, and even back then, like it was still like it touched on a lot of like current events you know jackie or jackie or jackie harry whatever her name is you maryland you go google it so you can see 227. okay you might like 227. 227 was really good who else was in it brenda and then brenda had her friend mary and lester did it Sandra, that was Jack Hayes' name, Sandra, Sandra Clark. I'll never forget that. <laughs> Dems talking about 90210. Dems, I loved 90210. I and never watched that one either. I was too old for that one. I love 90210. And also, so I think the CW or the WB did a whole new version of 90210 like a few years, like maybe like 15 years ago. I loved that one too. I loved, I loved 90210 and Meryl's Place. Never watched that one either. You never watched Marilyn? Maybe that's when my kids were little and I was like too tired to watch TV. I don't know. Revenge. Anyone? Oh, who said revenge? Lisa Wells. Oh, Lisa, you're my bestie now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Revenge was the absolute best. So I think Revenge kind of like prepared me for um, Scandal. But Revenge, Marilyn, you've never seen Revenge? Mm -mm. Oh my. When I told you it was so trifling, it was a hot mess, and everybody was low down and dirty. It was so good. The girl came back to get revenge, and it was so good. She was so strategic. Loved it. So didn't you, hi Shaka Trump, didn't you watch, okay, who's the guy who he's really a bad guy and he kills people, but people like him because he's doing Dexter, it. Dexter. Yeah, aren't you a big, you were a big Dexter fan, weren't you? Yeah. So is revenge anything kind of like that? Oh no, it's way more cleaner, but still a little messy. Okay. A lot cleaner. Um, Dexter, I actually started watching Dexter. Um, I actually started reading the book first. So Dexter, there's a series of Dexter books. And my dentist is the one who hooked me onto Dexter. Oh. <laughs> like, girl, listen. You know, I'd be talking a lot all the time. So I end up talking to everybody. So she, <laughs> girl, we talked about books and everything. And she was like, have you ever heard of Dexter? I was like, no. And so she was like, you know, it's a, she told me, I was like, I don't think I want to watch that. She's like, no, 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 no. You'll love it. And guess what? I did love it. I did. So you are the person how about the electric company. Oh my gosh. So you are the person, the electric company actually is so old. I think that's the one that started when I was in grade school. <laughs> ah, I've never heard of the, what is it about? Oh, old, it's about? an educational show. Oh. Old, 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 old. I think that's the one that started because I can kind of remember in fifth or sixth grade, we got huddled around the TV, which we never got to watch TV and the electric company was on. Um, so you're the person who at the dentist, when the dentist is actually talking to you and given in, instead of giving them the side eye, like, you know, I can't talk, right? Your hands are in my mouth or this is in my mouth. You're she's the one the talking to Yeah, oh, she's talking oh, to the out so she can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're, having a whole, we're, we're having a whole conversation. Uh, <laughs> I'll get my teeth cleaned. Yeah. Oh, Shaka Terrell. So we were talking about suits. We've been, my husband and I have been watching suits. We're in like the second to the last season 
and I liked it. I'm gonna have to check Suits out. Oh, there was what was that show called? I can't even think of it now. Family Matters. Yep. I like Family Matters. Family Matters was good. Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. Dimps. Dimps. Rogers Neighborhood. No. Full House. That was okay. Full House was good. That was for the time it was good. What else? It was another show. Really, really funny show. I can't even think of their name. The name of the show. Did anybody watch Monk? Oh, yeah. Yes. I loved Monk. Yes. Yes, we did too. Married with children. Good times. That Albert and the Brady Bunch Partridge family. Mm. Yeah, Deb said, Oh, Monk, yes, yes. He was so quirky, but. Yes. Monk was a hot mess. Somebody said Game of Thrones. I've never watched a Game of Thrones, but a guy that I work with is like, you know, I'm not into that genre of stuff, but he said that was one of my all time favorites. I tried to watch it. So some of my okay did cut. I tried to watch it, uh, Game of Thrones, and I got what was the dragon girl name, y'all, in Game of Thrones? I liked her. What was I know you guys know? The game it was the what is the dragon girl, y'all, in in Game of Thrones? And I like that's not always my thing either but like that genre but it was okay daenerys yes yes daenerys tiana says i still watch little house on the prairie i could not i could not stomach little house on the prairie i loved little house on the prairie and that so there's a, a historical site that is really close to where i grew up really yeah but that's like that show where they all said, we didn't really watch it in my family, Night John Boy or whatever. Uh, everybody said, Night John Boy, Night, what was that show? Way too sappy. <laughs> oh, I think I had an extra stone on there. I can get it off though. Um, Jay Renee, isn't her hair beautiful? Oh, thank That you. loves your hair. Thanks. Y'all. The Waltons, yeah, no Waltons for me. No Waltons. I didn't, I didn't watch the Waltons. Oh, I did have a bat. Like so, over here on the edge where I had that, like that didn't cut. And I think that's because you remember I was like not on. It was right there mm-hmm. at the edge. I think that's where I had a little bit of hiccup over here on the side, y'all. It's all when I filled it, but have to let's see. There. Jamie's asking about Alf. I forgot about Alf. Mork and Mindy. Alf. They're kind of that. I think oh, I so. love Mork and Mindy. Love Mork and Mindy. Love Alf. I even had the little Alf doll. Remember Alf had the doll? Yes. I have a little elf doll. <laughs> yep. Delana said, I love Maude, especially the theme song. I remember the show and I know it was a spinoff. Okay, so it was it was before. Yeah, that was a spinoff from the show where the lady was a newspaper person, wasn't it, Maude? Well, Mary Tyler Moore? Mary Tyler Moore, that's what I'm thinking of. Mary Tyler Moore, yes. Place a few in here, y'all. Okay, this okay. is gonna bother me, so I gotta take this extra stone off. Y'all know what happens when Mar- stuff bothers Marilyn. No, Marilyn obsesses, so Marilyn just deals with it by taking it off. <laughs> Please take it off, Marilyn. Oh, I said, no. Land of the Lost, Land of the Lost. 
Lib Wilson, and it seems like he would dress up as a lady. What was his his uh, lady name when he dressed up as a lady? Do you remember that Flip Wilson dressing up as a lady? No, I didn't. He'd have a skirt on. What the heck was that? I'm sure that's. I'm sure. That's sure. Yep. Okay, yeah, Geraldine. Okay, Linda said yes. Flip Wilson and his alter ego, Geraldine. Okay. Land of the Lost. I don't think I watched that. Yeah, Mork and Mindy was pretty funny. Now, you guys might not watch this. I used to watch Punky Brewster. I don't know if you guys remember Lil Punky Brewster. Oh, Punky I, Brewster. yeah, I don't think I ever really watched it, but I remember that. And I made Taylor watch it. So <laughs> as soon as she could, like, I went and bought the DVDs. This was so long ago. I bought <laughs> all the DVDs just because, of course, we weren't always watching everything digitally. Right. Yeah. And so I purchased all the DVDs and. She ends up loving uh, Punky Booster. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll be done soon. We just have to finish this one. The part where I messed up. So the you let me, they said that they were going to call you. Uh, Dorica said that she was going to call you um, if I quit. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. But I didn't quit. Um, I'm going. Blossom, that sounds I love Blossom. Isn't that the girl that was later on the Big Bang Theory? Um, Blossom, uh, uh, what's her name? I am Theolic or something like that. Yeah, I think. Yes. Like once in a while she'll host um, Jeopardy now. Is that I, don't, I haven't watched Jeopardy since Alec Trebek went on to glory. I haven't watched it since. I promise. I, I can't. It's hard for me. Like change. Like right. like changes. Like it's really hard for me to like. Just like how Stabler left SVU. How they kicked him off. Or maybe he just left because of contract reasons. But I couldn't watch it anymore. I have a hard time watching Jeopardy because I'm just not that smart. You can learn so much from Jeopardy. When I know, I do learn from it because I can't answer hardly any of the questions. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Where do they get the from? <laughs> night, Jamie. Good night, Jamie. Look, they don't want us to play. <laughs> That's really what it is. <laughs> they, don't, they don't want us to play. I don't even know that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Eve says she's not on Jeopardy anymore. Yeah, Fiona says y'all are tripping. Game of Thrones is fire. No, it was good. When I watched it, it was pretty good. I like the dragon girl, Daenerys. Or Daenerys. Where, yeah. I probably did her name first. I did like her. A friend of mine uh, tried to convince me. It took me years to watch it once it was finally off. But I didn't make it through the last season. So... Cheers. Welcome back, Carter. Other oh, good ones. I thought somebody said silver spoons. I like silver spoons. Was it silver spoons and the the guy in there had the uh the like the Corvette bed or the car bed? Was that silver spoons? I don't know. I don't remember silver spoons. Different strokes. Oh the Jeffersons, yeah, that was really good. Yeah, we've been some good shows on. Really good ones. Uh-oh. I need to get a new tip for my pen, my wax pen, at least for this one, because it's hard for me to lift up my 
have stones, y'all. So somebody said yes. I think it was Eve that said it. Yes, Patrice, he had a train too. He had a train. Yeah. That was that silver spoon. Hey Donna. Nani's journey. Hey, hey Richie. Penny. Hey y'all coming in. Hopefully I will be off soon so that Sheila can say, Patrice, you did a good job. This was a quick live. But I think after the hour and a half mark, it's no longer a quick live. <laughs> it's no longer a quick live. So Eve is telling us something new. She said she was in a movie with Ricky Schroeder. What? Eve Eve? Eve, do tell. Exactly. Where can we find this movie? Evie? She's gonna be like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> She was like, you don't like, y'all don't need to find anything. <laughs> oh, WKRP. Yes. WKRP. That was funny. All right. I got a few that I got to put in. Yeah, Donna, we're going down memory lane with all these old shows. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa said, awesome, Eve is a star. We already knew this, though. Yep. <laughs> we already knew that. We did. All right, Marilyn. Marilyn's so patient, y'all. She's just like, okay, Patrice. I'm just hanging out, having a good time. Reading the chat. Okay, so here's the scoop about Eve. She said, it's called Blood Done Signed My Name. Mm -hmm. My part was cut. Aw, but my mom, my dad, and both my daughters have cameos. Oh. My patents are shown several times. My parents are shown several times. Wow. Oh. Done sign my name. I gotta take a picture of that. Mm-hmm. But Marilyn's like, I gotta take a picture of that because I'm about to go and find this. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> I will just ask you to send me the name. <laughs> <laughs> I will just ask you that, Marilyn. In advance. In advance. All right, y'all. We might be we might be in business now. I think I got uh, all the holes covered. I didn't see what Lashunda said at first, but now she she must have had a crush on the rock. Because she said Delanda, it was real. I even had a full size of the rock in my bedroom. My husband hated it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All that from Nickelodeon. Oh, Nickelodeon. I know, but Nickelodeon was so good. I don't know what Nickelodeon shows now, but. Thanks, Angie. Be good. Wonder Woman. Okay. So, oh, look at this. So, Stacia, if I'm saying that correctly, said, I'm in need of a hat press. I want to start doing hats. <laughs> Which is funny because earlier people were like, they don't use their hat presses that much. I, on the other hand, Stacia, I love making hats. Yeah, you do. Okay, so. Oh. Oh. Oh, Marilyn, have you seen soap? I didn't ever get into soap. Oh, my goodness. I've seen a little bit of it. I love soap with its weird self. I watched it now. I would probably love it now. Now. Okay. At Benson. Mr. Belvedere. Oh, Richie ordered the Caesar Romeo today, but have to wait two weeks for stock. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. I think you're going to love it. Uh, of design has cousins that are sisters and their names are Laverne and Shirley. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, that's, 
the first time we mentioned Laverne and Shirley. Huh? Benson was a spinoff of Soap, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. Benson was a spinoff of something. Yeah, I used to watch Benson, but I, I never really watched Soap. So, I'm about to go and see where I can find Soap. What else? What other show? There's so many good shows. I think we've named, like, all of the shows. Yeah. <laughs> AJ said that one of them I brought up was Before Your Time. The Jetsons. Yes. Jetsons. I used to love the Jetsons. Yes. Matter of fact, they're, they're a robot that cleaned Rosie, right? Mm -hmm. We named, so my husband won one of those little robotic vacuum sweepers at this thing he went to and we named her Rosie for the Jetsons person. Oh. I may have to go back and watch soap. This sounds crazy. It is. Bert was kidnapped <laughs> by aliens. Soap was so good. <laughs> Lisa said soap was the beginning of the weakened censorship. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, somebody must have said something about Purple Romeo because Eve is going, she wants a Purple Romeo. She wants to know where you get a Purple Romeo. Who has a Purple Romeo? There's a Purple Romeo? Is it like a limited edition? I don't know. He's, he's currently going out to the trash to retrieve her box so she can put it back inside. And <laughs> Eve, you could just bling it in purple. Eve is like, oh, I know they didn't come out with a purple Romeo, and no, that's just not acceptable. Hey, that's Tanya's here now. You can ask her. She'll make your uh, outfit for you. Oh, Tanya, Tanya, I was talking about you earlier, Tanya, Tanya. If I send you my white dress, will you will you make make it for me? <laughs> will you bling it out for me? Because girl, Tanya blings out entire outfits, like from head to toe. Oh, so does your Romeo look purple from the light on it? Somebody said maybe that's it. Oh, maybe let me see if you can change the light. Because with them, oh, you can change the light of the solo. But then Sandra said something about Richie said that about the purple Romeo. So, oh, up design, Scooby Doo was like way up there on the list for me, and for my kids because it's one of the things I'd enjoy watching with them. So maybe it's the light, the light, my light is just a white light. So I'm going to add, oh, I, I got these things here. Let's see. See my purple lights back there? Kind of bluish purple. <laughs> Let me see, Marilyn. Hold on. I thought these would be fun. See my light. Oh, that is nice. I like that, Marilyn. There's pink, blue, green, yellow, and red. Nice. But I like the pink and the purple best. That one. We'll go with that one. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. Now, I did not watch Beavis and Butthead. But I think it was probably pretty darn funny. I Thanks, Eve. There was the fancy lights over here. Yep. Yes. Picture me crafting. It's my mood lighting. I don't really use them very often. Like, I've seen uh, Michael on Mr. Crafty Pants. He has some type of light. So I was like, well, maybe these would look cute. They're a little much. All right. I am going to. 
Oh, so somebody asked what the GT stands for, and it's uh, Gerard Trojans, and it's a, a team type shirt. All right, guys. That's a bit of pressing. So this is a hoodie. It's a, a zippered hoodie that my aunt wants me to put. If you're just getting here, I'm making a bling hoodie for my aunt, and um, she's having a grandbaby, her first grandbaby, my cousin's first child, and I'm making a hoodie for her and also for the paternal grandmother. So the one I'm making now is for the paternal grandmother, but my auntie ordered it. So I'll make the other one probably Friday night if I don't make it tomorrow. Whoops. My arm just fell off my table. What fell off the table? My arm. I was oh, like this and it went. Huh? So we're going to put this on the back of the hoodie. And I think on the front I might put uh, something very small on like the left chest. Uh-huh. What yet, but this is going on the back. She wanted something that can zip up, so... We're gonna give her. Hey, Penny Smith. Right, Delonga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's in good shape, huh, Delonga? <laughs> so, Martha asked, "What was the deal on the Romeo today?" I think they said it was on HSN 649. You got the Romeo, and then a big bundle of. Trencher vinyl, regular vinyl, something like that. Yeah. That's a pretty good deal. $6.99 is a good deal because I think it's the Romeo is usually like $6.99 on like heat transfer warehouse. So uh, no, Delana, I was just embarrassed I went like that, you know. Okay, the bundles was very good. And it, yes, $6.49. Hey, Mrs. JB. Okay, so about $200 in added stuff. Patrick was on there. Okay. I'm going to press this. Can you go back online and look at snippets from HSN so we can see them? Uh -huh. Oh, can you see like the old? Yeah. I have to stay off those those channels. Amazon Amazon is bad enough. Oh my goodness, Amazon is so bad. Okay, so Leslie says you can. Oh, so it came with a twelve by twelve mat and a twelve by twenty four sublimation pins and. Tanya ordered it from HSN last night. So does anyone in here have Juliet? Because Leslie's asking, is Juliet a good one if all you want to do is cut flop? So I assume the Juliet would cut really, really, you know, like the Romeo. And the thing that when I saw Delonda peel her flock up and all the dots were out when she used Romeo, I was like, I need that. You knew that was for you? Yeah. Okay, so Roxanne has Juliet. Roxanne, do you use flock to cut or do you use your Juliet to cut flock? Oh, Richie, you're addicted to Timu. So I was, I watched a lot of things on Timu for multiple weeks. And then I just wanted to throw everything through the wall that had a Timu notification. They just notified They overdo it. Yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. And then they try to flatter you with the email. Hey, gorgeous Patrice, stop it. <laughs> I don't get that email. Huh? I don't get that email. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. They don't tell. They don't call me gorgeous. Roxanne says yes. The Juliet cuts like butter. 
All right. So I think LaShonda said 13 speed and 42 force for your flock. LaShonda, do you cut it with on the mat or just with the backing on and put it through without a mat? I think that matters, though. I think it matters, like, if the backing is on it. Like, uh huh. No, it's not. All right, y'all. So, Delana said she's decided Wednesdays are going to be my Romeo Tutorials Day. Nice. Cool. Um, Donna wants to know if you got your Vivoir to cut <laughs> perfect circles for Ryan's The Vivoir? Yeah, the Vivor. That's how you say it. You oh, say the, it the, so white, the wide one. The big one. Yes, the 38 inch one, she said. I haven't gotten a cut perfect. No. I haven't. I mean, it cuts. It cuts good. But not. I haven't gotten it to cut perfect. And I haven't really been testing it out that much lately. So I need to, to test it out. So far, let me show you what this looks like. Oh, that looks cute. So Lashen says on a mat with the back. All right, let's see. We connect. I'm not sure. Yeah, Delanda. I don't blame you. I'm tired of them. So Deborah Garrett says, "Beautiful, Patrice." Thank you, Deborah Garrett. My auntie made me make this for her. She don't listen to me when I say I don't do custom designs. <laughs> she doesn't. None of my aunties. Is she the same one that that you've talked about before? No. That's, oh, yeah. okay. So it's a different one that's a little bit pushy. It's her. It's their baby sister. Oh, okay. With a little extra. And she's like, probably watching those videos. Don't be talking about me online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is kind of a little, I don't know if it's because of the placement of the heat press, but it's, it's just a little bit uh, tricky getting it in. Especially with the hood, and then it's you know it's it's zippered, so yeah. lots of bulk. Yeah, that's all good. We got one more press. So this was I only did three presses, but we used a few colors. We used well, only four colors. I thought it was more than that. Just four. And because it's the hoodie, I'm actually pressing it for a little bit longer. And I usually do the heat at uh, 325, but I put it up to 350 and I'm pressing it for like 25 seconds. It's looking pretty. Let's see, we got one more part to put in under. I think I should do the other one. Do you think I should do the other one like in the same colors, even though it's going to say instead of Grammy? So all I have to do is change on the design instead of Nana, like Trey. The name Trey is going to be the same. And then um, everything else is going to be the same, except Nana is going to say Grammy. Do you think I should just use the same color? Yes, because one of them might like the other ones better. Okay. So you I'm know, colors. So Grace Stable says, hello, my name is Faith. This is my first time here. Welcome, Grace. I learned about this channel Welcome. because it was listed in Katrina's Graceful Creations Live. That was streamed four months ago. Aw, good oh, awesome. And thank you for being here, Faith. All right. Okay, let's see, y'all. I'm going to switch the camera while it's here so that we can see what it's going to look like. Let's 
Lashon, I want you to do a class on the 3D effect. To do a class on it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I got it. Ask her when she wants a class. So give me until like next month. I'll be good to go next month. All right. So Lashonda, she says in September. Yeah, she'll be good to go. Hey, Teresa, Sister Heart, craft some things. Oh, Victoria's Creations. I saw earlier a long time ago. You said you were late. What y'all doing, or what did I miss? And we were just barely getting started. So you're all good. Yep. So Lashonda's dancing. She's happy. <laughs> Lashonda, it's coming, girl. Let me get through this first two weeks of school, and then I got you. Because I, I was supposed to do it already, but oh, oh y'all, this is so nice. I hate when I say something that it's like it's so nice and I did it, but it really is really nice. <laughs> Let me turn off this heat press because I gotta get ready for this. Right. So Dem, so I don't know what the glow font is. Yeah. Okay, so so Faith says don't mind my username. Um, her phone freaked out the other day and it won't let her <laughs> for three days but she is a new subscriber patrice welcome and thank you for subscribing to our channel i'm patrice and this one right here who likes to be super super tiny is making with marilyn <laughs> did you say super super slimy tiny oh I was, you I always say super I'm super slimy I'm going, okay yeah you always <laughs> think i'm being shady marilyn I think <laughs> <laughs> y'all do y'all think i'm oh y'all this is so pretty y'all look that's gorgeous so i used in the so the shadow is black diamond and in the center is sapphire y'all know how much i love sapphire and then the bottom is labrador around for the outline and the inside is um Icicles? Black diamond. That AB. is black diamond? That is black diamond AB. So originally I was going to put the black diamond with the uh, black diamond AB, like the shadow. Yeah. But I felt like uh, it would kind of like when it's turned in one direction, it'll all just look like a black diamond blob. So I chose to go with like a, with the sapphire, which will still give us Look at that. Y'all, this is so it. cute. It's gorgeous. And so the other is going to say Trey's Grammy. I like it. I think it came out really good. And it says established 2023. So I use Black Diamond, Sapphire, Labrador, Black Diamond, AB. And established 2023 is um, Sapphire, too. But I like how it came out. It's gorgeous. Thank They're going to flip yeah. out. Thank you. So this is the back of the hoodie. Okay. So they wanted um, it on the back. So the other one is going to say Grammy. And then I think on the front, what do you guys think if I put like just in a, a sketch font or a, a single line font, maybe Trey and then 23? Oh, yeah. That'd be cute. Just on like the left chest. <laughs> Did you see Delanda? <laughs> Tell my <me>, that's me. <laughs> Delanda, Delanda, Delanda. Oh, <laughs> just a mess. Uh, entire mess. So it, uh, it's all good. Marilyn, do you want to show your shirt? Not after that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'll show my shirt. So this is just a school shirt. It's a G and a T. It is a maroon shirt, and then the inside of the GT is mm, Arm Dorado, and then the little outline is Labrador. So this is Friday's outfit. That looks gorgeous. I love it. The only other time I used it was when I sublimated. So I did a white shirt, I sublimated the GT, and then I put the stones on top of it. 
I like this better. That looks really good. That looks really good. Thank you. Oh, I did say I was going to try to find that font that I used. Mm, um, yes. Whew, let's see if I could find it. Let me show you guys again. And then that way. Marilyn, are you still big? Because I can't see this. Oh, screen. I am. Oh. Y'all know she's probably like talking trash about me. And I'm, I'm big and slimy. <laughs> <laughs> I am hot. I look a little slimy. <laughs> a hot mess. <laughs> a hot mess. Okay, let me see if I can remember. Okay, so the center is, um, it's called Boyfriend, I think. Um, let's see if that's it. Nope. I'm going to have to see because I don't remember what the word, what the name is, Trey. But this one is Boyfriend. I was trying to look to see if I could find the other one. And it is not telling me. Let's see, y'all. Yep. <laughs> what happened here? Oh, Delonda, she's, she's a lot of different things. And now she says she's also known as GTD. <laughs> GTD. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Martha. Why? Okay, so this one is retro. I think this one is retro. It's a font. Oh, maybe it's not. Hold on. Let me type in the name Trey, and I'll be able to tell you right now. Okay. Retro. So when you do your class on the shadow or 3D effect, mm -hmm. would it be like a secondary class, like you kind of need to know how to do them first? And then take this class. What level would it be? Um, and you may not know yet. I don't know, but mm, that's how I feel. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know because I'll ask it again later. You got a month before then, right? Yeah. It's like, oh, it's salty candy. I candy. I don't know, Marybeer. So, Trey is, uh, it's a font called Salty Candy. Salty Candy. And uh, Nana is, uh, what is this, Nana? Delana said it'd be the super experts. <laughs> For the shadow, the sh at, at, y'all, really the shadow, well, it's a, it is easy. Like you'll you'll get it quick. Um, so salty candy and uh, hold on, let me see. It's called C L N Boyfriend. That's what this one's called. C L N Boyfriend One. So C L N Boyfriend One. And then, yeah, so those are the fonts I used. And then I used uh, BFC third grade for the bottom. For everybody who asked about the fonts and Marilyn has to go to work in the morning. I got a, you know, why am I big? Hold on. I got to go to work in the morning. Yo, my, I can barely keep my eyes open. I am so full. I've had a great time blinging with y'all and Marilyn. Marilyn was on here to make sure that I could function. Just that right. keep her in line. Just yeah. that's my only job. Keep Patrice in line. Yeah. She doesn't do a good job all the time, but I still keep her around because, you know. <laughs> keep Patrice in line, a.k.a. Bling Addict Sponsor. <laughs> She thinks that she's the one who needs a little help at this point. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I had a good time, y'all. I'm about to get ready for bed. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Marilyn, my love, thank you for hanging out with me because, you know, I was already a little hot mess. And Delonda, thank you for getting me together. And I got here tonight. Maybe I'll be here on Friday. Can't wait. So excited. 
But have an amazing rest of your week, y'all. Make somebody smile. It doesn't cost any money to be to smile. I hope you guys are not walking around with like little sad faces or just looking mean and unapproachable. Smile. It might make somebody's day. So yeah. I made my day and smiled and I was like, girl, be happy. Like it, but then I had to keep telling myself that. But still that smile, I caught on and then I smiled back. And so it was just one thing. Made my day better. I love you guys. And until Friday, y'all. Say bye, Marilyn. Bye. <laughs> or Thursday. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I don't know. We're going to be on Thursday? I don't know. Maybe. Oh. Maybe. So she's acting funny? <laughs> Marilyn, you're acting You're acting funny this week? You don't, <laughs> want, you don't want to bling with me? You know what? I didn't bling last Thursday because I was so tired. So then I went on Saturday. But okay. I'll probably come on Thursday night. Okay. And then Delanda said that we I could start over on Friday. So Delanda, thank you so much for allowing me to start over on Friday. Um, it makes me feel so much better. So I don't feel pressured or stressed out. And I can totally start over on Friday. So thank you. You could start <laughs> over on Thursday. I could we you could, could do start. Grammy or Granny or Grandma or whatever. Oh, I could do Grammy on Thursday. Yeah, you could. Right. You could. We could you're gonna do something too. Yeah. Okay, so then great. Oh, okay. That's next year's birthday gift. Okay, that sounds that sounds fair. <laughs> that sounds fair. It does, it does. I can't even complain about it. All right, y'all. Later, y'all. All right. Bye.